Now the polls are showing the former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, is leading the pack for the GOP nomination. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney is trying to win conservative votes in Iowa, and he's using the words of my next guest to help. Listen to this. Mitt Romney's conservative plan to get federal spending under control has been called the boldest GOP agenda since Reagan 1980. Congressman Paul Ryan praised Romney's plan, saying this is getting us toward a prosperity agenda that will allow the private sector to grow. And conservative columnist Ann Coulter says, I think it's going to be Romney. I think Romney is the strongest candidate, and I think Republicans want to beat Obama, and Romney is the best one to do that. Mitt Romney, because it's time we start believing in America again. Joining us now with reaction, the author of the New York Times bestseller, Demonic Coulter. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> Good to and see you. And I'm not you. even going to ask you about your, your boyfriend, or else you call me a brat <laughs> and a, 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 an old grandmother. I appreciate that. Let's get right into the all election. Right, well, let me, all right. So you, you, <laughs> so you stand, but this is what you think. And you've been, pretty, yes. you've been very harsh against Gingrich. Um, yes. I mean, I, you hear this often. I think it actually is true um, for this upcoming election. It's the most important election of our lifetimes. Right. The 1980 election was the most important election for people who lived in the old Soviet Union. But right. for America, if we don't repeal Obamacare in the next four years, it will never be repealed. Um, Republicans will have to run on this... improvements to Obamacare. Uh, Newt Gingrich will call plans to reform Obamacare right wing social engineering. The treats don't kick in yet. As soon as the treats kick in, we will never get it repealed. And that takes America on the path to being some mediocre Western European country. So this country. is purely political in terms of you think he is the most electable. No, Even no, no. I think he's the most conservative. I think the two most conservative candidates. And look, people keep talking about a brokered convention. You know, knock it off, Republicans. These are our candidates. Mm -hmm. We've seen them. We've seen the debates. I agree with that. The two most conservative candidates from, who are still standing now are Michelle Bachman and Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. And Michelle Bachman, I think she's terrific, by the way. But she is just a congressman. She has never been a governor. I think she's also probably hurt a little bit by 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 the resemblance to Sarah Palin, having had this woman last time. The same way I think Perry is hurt by his resemblance to Bush, and that's not an insult right, to any let, of them. Let, but Let me ask you this, because you, you, she was in love with Chris Christie, upset. I remain in you love with Chris Christie. He's going to be our cleanup guy in eight right. years. Threatened to take his uh, breathalyzer, quote, inhaler away, which is an uh, Obama But joke. I right, well, trust well, him well, enough, he made his decision not to run. Now we have the candidates all on right, the stage. But you've got to go back to your own words at CPAC. Okay. All right, because you know this has been making the rounds. Let's I, roll this I tape. wish you wouldn't play it because I was sick that day. And it, it, I may as well tell you what my prediction is because then you can either totally congratulate me or laugh at me <laughs> two years from now. I don't like to attack Republicans. Uh, many of them have excellent, excellent characteristics and they're good in the positions they're in now and I support them and they're positions as representatives or governor or or Fox News host <laughs> um, but I think uh, well I'll put it in a nutshell if we don't run Chris Christie Romney will be the nominee and we'll lose. Uh, what changed? Um, Obamacare for one thing and I mean that was February right last year we or not last whenever. year was it the year before whenever yeah. okay we and we have the economy in the toilet we have Obama knowing nothing to do and by the way I didn't say I hate Mitt Romney and well, now I love if, him you said I thought, if we don't run right. Christie Romney will be the nominee we'll I lose now you're saying if Romney's not the Rom uh, nominee we're going to lose so no, there were two changed. predictions, and by the way, it's a lot better than, you know, everybody on MSNBC telling us it's going to be plenty. So, so far, my prediction is holding no, up no, pretty I'm well. Not, this, isn't, this isn't what a I've gotcha. I'm, I'm just, what I want to know what changed. What I've changed my mind about is, the, is whether, and by the way, I changed my mind about three months after that on Fo some Fox News show because the economy was so bad. And I said, look, I mean, I'm, I'm generally a pessimist. We're running against... Actually, maybe I'm not, but we have this very popular, we have this popular Democratic president. He does have an attractive family. He has the entire mainstream media behind him. He's an incumbent. That's why I thought the candidate we ran would lose. Um, I no longer think, I now think Obama has a glass jaw, and I said that just a few months after that statement, by the way, but it's not really, I think, that big of a change, and actually we don't know if my prediction mm -hmm. is wrong now. What I'm saying now is of the available candidates. Romney is by far the most conservative, um, tied with Michelle Bachman, and he is he 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 has a proven ability to win okay, in a state let, like let Massachusetts. Let me agree with you in one sense. I first of all, I, you and I, I think are the only two people that keep saying 
Romney was clever enough to outfox Democrats, and he said a few things that he probably took a Very few, few positions he would have wouldn't have taken because he had to win in Massachusetts. Yeah. I think that's true. Yeah, I agree. I, and <laughs> it I, makes more sense. And than I think Romney, some secret Manchurian game I think to Romney pick out Republicans. would be a good president. And yeah. I think, but I also think Gingrich, Bachman, Santorum, everybody but Ron Paul would be a good. I have a problem with Ron Paul's foreign policy and and some of his writings that went on I for have a, a decade. I have a problem with Newt Gingrich's big government conservatism. I think. I think of the candidates on the stage, Newt Gingrich is tied with Ron Paul and only Ron Paul because of his foreign policy as the least conservative candidate on the stage. Well, wait a minute, but think I mean, when, he governed, getting... when he governed in 94, Speaker, right. stop for one second, because I studied this extensively for my last book. Wait a minute. He had his 10 items. They were conservative. He fought for limited government. He, it took them seven times to get Clinton to buy into their welfare reform bill. It took Kasich and Domenici to get him to buy into a, a balanced right. budget plan. They went from a deficit to a surplus. What's, what's not Those conservative about that? Those of us who were working for, for the Congress time, I was working for the Senate Judiciary Committee after the 94 election, because it was a big election and I wanted things to change. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be writing about it in my column this week, but with Ning Gingrich, you get the worst of both worlds. You get the bombastic rhetoric, but you don't get the policy change. You have him calling for orphanages for children on welfare, for them to be janitors. You have him talking about um, that is women not what not he being... said about kids, orphans on being janitors. That's not what he said. Yes, he did. He said the kids need to develop a work ethic. Yeah, he did. I was and scrubbing said, pots example, and pans at 12 years old. I don't, I'm not going to. I'm not going to listen to you talk about all the hard work you've done. Jean, Why? I've got a million times on your show. I'm telling um, you. <laughs> he said they could be janitors in their school. I would have cut you off as a bartender. And by the way, this is what we went through. <laughs> this is what we went through in the 90s, where Republicans would leap forward and defend him. But the point is, Sean, we didn't get kids getting work. We didn't get ki orphanages for 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 children in horrible welfare families. Got a balanced budget, well. For reform. No, but my point is what you get is the bombast, the heat, the blowback, the image of Republicans as being cruel, but you never get the policy. All right, last question. Well, change the policy then, when at least when Ronald Reagan Everybody's was called predicted. heartless. Look, I, I, I will support the nominee, and I'm... I'm well, not, as I've, I've told you, I'll support Jeffrey yeah, Dahmer against Obama. That isn't the question here. The question <laughs> is, how do we beat Obama? By the way... Look, and I think we beat Obama with the most conservative candidate yeah. and with the one who has been elected in a very liberal state, who is calm, who's a turnaround guy. You know, the we way... To tell liberals that you're kidding about Jeffrey Dahmer, or should oh, we just let no, it go? They're that. too stupid. Uh, <laughs> no, let's try to get something ginned up. Um, when, no. when, when, when Romney was running against Teddy Kennedy, the the big campaign mm -hmm. against him was, you know, the turnaround guy, and and people lost their jobs. Please use that ad against Romney this time, because I want him to go to Washington and have mm -hmm. people lose right. their jobs. Bottom line is, I think we have a much stronger field than, a, especially the media and the punditry class are giving them. Coulter. It is. How's your boyfriend? <laughs> do, how much time do we have? Because I have a few more points. No, I, no, no. Can I? Are you? Because I really liked him. You're not going to get married, are you? Did somebody hold up a stop? Did you ever see somebody? Ann Coulter sweat? This never happens. She's steel. She's okay, got a go backbone back to, of steel. Go back to telling me I'm about all the jobs you had as a child. Yeah, which one? Hey, listen. I would have <laughs> cut you that. off, and you were there when I filled in for your bartender buddy <laughs> that one night. Didn't I do a good job? Yeah, and we're going to do it again. We're going to do it for charity. Want to do it this week? No. And still ahead.